Hey everybody, how you doing? It's your boy Brian Polito, and we're gonna get into the official preview of Lady Death Demonic Omens. We're gonna give you a preview of the actual Kickstarter campaign. In about a week or so, we're gonna give you the actual mock-up show where we kind of talk it all down. But this is a different format we're trying, so without further ado, let's pull that campaign up and start talking about it. Now, Lady Death Demonic Omens is chapter 19 of Lady Death's story, and this kicks off Hellageddon, which is a year-long storyline that Mike McLean and I have been writing for some time now. And it is a company-wide event that's gonna happen over the course of the four main returning Kickstarters. So that's Lady Death Demonic Omens, that's La Muerta, Lady Death Inferno, that's Lady Death 20, which is Eternal Sabbath, and it is Lady Death Hell Witch Hellgasm. This 226 page story co-stars Hell Witch, La Muerta, and Chaotica throughout the story. And this is a celebration of Lady Death's 30th anniversary. So without further ado, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the story. So we're gonna scroll down a tad. Now this is an actual look at our campaign. And you'll notice on, let's see here, to, uh, to the one side, you could actually see the various chapter headings and you could click on that and go right to certain sections of the campaign. And here we talk about Lady Death's main story. If you don't know, this Lady Death is a sword-building battle maiden who fights evil. But the new story takes place after the tragic conclusion of Imperial Requiem. Lady Death returns to our Earth only to discover two years have passed and unprecedented prosperity has spread throughout the globe. But all is not what it seems. Like all the main storyline Kickstarters, this will be a 64-page square-bound book with 56 pages of story and art. Right before you will actually see previous chapters of Lady Death, so if you're new to Lady Death, you actually kind of get all caught up. Uh, Coffin Comics is the story of one universe called the Coffinverse, and all of the stories that tell the main story are available, and we frequently do offer them like we are doing here on the Kickstarter. But without further ado, let's get right into the main rewards that we are offering. Well, actually, I'll slow down, I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna back up a little bit. A couple things, a uh, little, some housekeeping. Coffin Comics customer service is available to you Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Arizona time, which currently is Mountain Standard Time. Strange truth about Arizona is we do not change time. Everyone else in the world does, we do not. So right now, we're on Mountain Standard Time. We're closed Monday, uh, we're closed Saturday and Sunday, but we're available to answer all your questions. Uh, this graphic will kind of reiterate that. All right, we're gonna scroll down a little bit. Here's the creative team of Demonic Omens. It's myself and Mike McLean as co-writers, Diego Bernard returning as illustrator. We are welcoming Wes Hartman as colorist and returning letterer who's lettered every one of our books, Marshall Dillon. And there you have the management team, including La Presidenta, Mike Flippin, all the returning great folks, Jimmy Coff and Moonshine Mel, Jailbird, Jordan Kale, our web person, uh, Robert Zabrowski, et cetera, et cetera, Anya Apocalypse. And here's the Coffin Comics Fulfillment crew, Jeff the Resident Badass, Fabian Garcia, Tanner, and Mario Ruiz. But also, here are some of the cool contributing cover artists. You'll see them. There's the list, but we're going to get to it. Why Kickstarter again? This is our way of reaching you directly. No middleman. Love it. All right. Uh, here's some pages uh, from, from the story without lettering. Uh, you might see the return of a, a very bad, bad villain. Uh, he's not a nice person, but look, this story is very influenced by 70s satanic panic. And here you start seeing some demons doing some terrible conjuring as they are wont to do. And interestingly, here you see Lady Death return and she's taking on the guise of Lady Death alive. Longtime readers may remember Lady Death alive and she has, she'll return for a portion of our story. There's some of the beautiful page layouts by Diego Bernard and there is a sign of our guest star La Muerta, who is she getting ready to shoot? I don't know, you gotta read the story. <clears throat> Without further ado, let's get right into it. Our first reward we're gonna offer is the digital storyline. Well, that is 64 pages, including 54 page, 56 pages of story and art, and that'll be offered for $7. There is a $1 increase just because of the length of the, the production. Reward number two, this is the main one. This is the premiere edition. It is 64 pages. We're offering it for $32 and key to the campaign. It also offers free U.S. shipping. Please do not undervalue that. Uh, most other 
peer Kickstarter uh, creators do not offer that. We do. We have since the beginning. You know, hence the price. We actually have to bake in on an average edition about seven dollars for a shipping and uh, wrapping, handling, and all that kind of stuff. You also get free digital copies and free unlocked, free bonus items. So um, that's the premier edition, cover by Diego Bernard. Next up is an homage edition. And why not homage Lady Death number one? Because here we are, 30th anniversary. This image is by Diego Bernard and it is colored by Sanju Nivenjun. And there is Lady Death wielding her current sword, Oblivion. And certainly this is an homage to the classic Lady Death one by Stephen Hughes. Moving on, we have the Alive edition, because it is true. Lady Death spends a portion of the story alive. Now, back when Lady Death was alive, back in the day, it was sort of controversial. But interestingly, through the years, people warmed up to the idea. Um, you'll see exactly how it is played inside the story. It is for a portion of the story, not the majority of the story, but it is a nod, a tip of the hat to part of her history. That's part of what we're really going to do this entire year. We're going to look back at different elements of Lady Death's history, the classic era during Chaos Comics, some of the costumes, etc., and see what we can do to incorporate that into the story, as you will see. Moving on, the next reward, number five. Oh my gosh, here we go, the Silver Anniversary Coin. I am super excited about those. So if you take a look at it, the average challenge coin size is about this. But this gigantic coin we're doing is this size. Now, this is the silver version. There'll be 999 of these offered. Let's go back to the reward. You get a really good look at it. Nice photography on that. And um, it'll be offered $35. It actually will come in a custom clamshell and the exact packaging you see right there. So we're very excited about this one. We've been working behind the scenes on crafting and sculpting this literally since last August. So I hope you enjoy it as much as we enjoy putting it together. So there's only one 30th anniversary and this is one of the many ways that we are going to commemorate this very special time. So what's our next reward? Our next reward is number six. This is the Rob Liefeld Legend 11 by 17 print and premiere edition. Very popular tier. Take some of the uh, great art from the legend and ultimate artists, pop them in 11 by 17 print and also offer the premiere edition. And it's a great deal. Two of those things sent to you for 45 bucks US postage paid. Next up, we have the Steven Segovia ultimate print and premiere edition. Gorgeous image by Steven Segovia, artist on Todd McFarlane's Gunsinger Spawn. Uh, loved the work, loved having him on board. This is colored by Elmer Santos, who is fast at work on a, on Mike Morg coloring for us right now. Next up, David Nakayama Fire, 11 by 17 and premiere edition. We had to do it. You know, David's just a fun contributor. We like working with him. He likes working with us. And you're going to see later in the campaign that he has made a beautiful contribution. So I, don't know, I just couldn't resist it. So there it is for you, the David Nakayama Fire and Premier Edition. Next up, here we have it. This is the official commemorative edition. Since the very beginning, Coffin Comics commemorates uh, each particular campaign and this is the commemorative print which would be serial numbered at the bottom middle and it is limited to 199 prints it will sell out and there it is comes along with demonic omens premiere edition now if we reach a certain financial goal we might enhance the logo of the premiere edition to a nice silver logo so we hope that we can do that and with your help we can moving on here we have the Naughty Commemorative and Premiere Edition by Sun K. Look, feast your eyes on this wonderful blasphemous image where I see it looks like the Sabbath goat, some blasphemous creature behind Lady Death. Lady Death herself looks like she's overcome by demonic possession. Does that happen in this story? Does it not? I don't know. You will need to read it. Moving on in the next camp. Ah, here we go. So here's the 30th anniversary coin, but this is the copper coin. The copper coin is limited to 299 coins. And again, I'm going to show you, this is the size of the actual coin. And this is the copper coin, like the Death Star. Whoa. It's turned out really well. I don't really, really want to test the camera, but uh, these came out great. And the graphic can show you it did come out quite strong. We're offering that particular one for the price of 50 bucks. Free ship. Comes in its own clamshell and packaging. Next up, the hardcover edition. I like this image by Sora Sung, Juan Castro, and Hedwin Zalvador. This really captures the vibe of the storyline, man. 70s satanic horror. Here we go with the crazy Coffin Comics 
supernatural, superhero, anti-hero spin. So that one's available for 50 bucks. And we've been doing the hardcover since the beginning. They're among my favorite editions that we produce. Next up is the Possessed 24 by 36 poster by Sun K. This comes with the premier edition. And this particular reward tier includes the uh, unlock free bonus items, free US shipping, if you could think about it. We put it in a tube. We usually uh, uh, deliver those separately, the posters, so they ship solid and sturdy on their own in a very, very firm tube. Next up, uh, the Jeweled Edition. Check this beautiful image of Lady Death as Athena by the one and only Mike Chrome. We offer that one for 50 bucks. This one will be Jewel Enhanced by Shannon G. Next up, uh, the Naughty Edition. Well, you knew we had to do it. Sun K brings the heat as we uh, present to you this blasphemous image for your consideration. Lady Death basking in all her possessed demonic glory. Oh my, my. Well, Coffin Comics is known as the Outlaw Comic Company, so here we are doing exactly what it is that we do. Uh, I guess blasphemy is our game. Next up. Ah, yes, the Megafoil Edition. Again, evoking the theme of this particular story, Helligeddon, you see the beautiful flames made of foil. This image is by Mike DeBalfo and colored by Wes Hartman. It's great. With Lady Death, you don't know what side is she on. Is she like pro-humanity? Is she pro, you know, the dark side? I don't know. You just got to read this story. Next up, uh, the Odyssey Hullafoil Edition. Again, I had mentioned to you that we are going to harken back to Lady Death's 30 years and the different eras. And this image clearly harkens back to her Odyssey era storyline and armor. This image is by... It's a, the whole foil edition says the image is by Mike DiBalfo. I just caught uh, a fib. It's actually by Anthony Spey and Wes Hartman. So we're going to have to fix that one. That one got past us. But that's the wonderful Anthony Spey, a guest at Swornfest. Next up, we have the Prestige Metallic Card Set. <clears throat> Six beautiful images limited to 299 sets. Feast your eyes on artwork by the likes of Mike DiBalfo, Sora Sung, Mike Chrome, Keith Garvey, Don McTagg and David Nakayama. Next up, ah, uh, this is the Naughty Metallic Card set. Six cards limited to 299 sets. Images by Don McTagg, Mikey Belfo, Keith Garvey, Anthony Spey, Richard Ortiz, and Maniacal Monty Moore. Get them. These are the official cards for this campaign. Now here's the Prestige 11 by 17 set. There are six images in this set. Uh, and they are by Mike DiBalfo, Sora Sung, Mike Chrome, Keith Garvey, Don McTague, and David Nakayama. Also comes with all free unlock free bonus items and shipped to you free in the U.S. And comes with a digital copy of Demonic Omens. And next is the Naughty Set. Feast your eyes on the images by Don McTague, Mike DiBalfo, Keith Garvey, Anthony Spey, Richard Ortiz, and Monty Moore. Ooh, I love them. Now here is the barbaric 18 by 24 fine art print. This is a cliche limited to 99 hand signed and numbered copies. I personally will sign them. This is featuring the art of Rob Liefeld colored by J. David Ramos. Rob Liefeld is an American comic creator best known for co-creating Deadpool with writer Fabian Nicienza and co-founding Image Comics in the 90s. Rob's other notable creations include X-Force, Youngblood, Evangeline. I mean, the list goes on. And it is a, a pleasure and an honor to uh, present this material to you. I hope you enjoy it as much as we do. Check out this image. It's particularly bloody. Um, Liefeld really rocked out the blood on this one. It's probably one of the more bloody covers and images that we've produced in years. Next up, this is the Lady Tramp 2 book set. This is limited to 99 serial number matched sets. But the cover is by, it says it's by... Mike DiBalfo and Wes Hartman, but it's not. It's by Dan Mendoza. Please make a note of that. Um, a couple, several years ago, this is a, a sort of a sister set to another set we did. So this one's Lady Tramp, and then we did Zombie Lady many years ago. Uh, so this is uh, so the Zombie Lady one is is more Zombie Trampish, and this Lady Tramp is much more Lady Deathish. So uh, moving on. Let's see here, ah, the 30th anniversary gold coin. Now this one is strictly limited to 99 copies. And again, I wanna show you, this is how big this one is. So these coins are actually four ounces a piece and they are 2.75 inches. 
There are only 99 of these to commemorate. The sculpting, the sculpting is phenomenal and I think you'll really enjoy it. And it still kind of fits in the pocket. Like if you want to challenge somebody, this is the thing you want to do it with. Again, comes in this custom packaging and in a clamshell. It also comes with a little display. So you'll be able to kind of display the coin on its own. And we're going to show that. Actually, can we show that? We'll show that in a near future preview. But if we go back to the picture of Polito, I haven't, I've never done this before. So here's this little dude. And then somehow or another, it sits on there. And we'll show you that a little better in a near future preview. Moving on. Oh yeah, the heavy metal edition by Don McTague. Don always like raising the bar, facing the wonderful challenges, uh, creative challenges that we put before her. This is a very primitive image. It's almost like cave woman lady death come to life. It's a beauty and you can have it for just 110 bucks and it is the official heavy metal edition for this campaign. Moving on. Ah, uh, the ultimate metallic card set. So you would receive the aforementioned prestige card set, the naughty card set, and then down below some cards that are exclusive. So keep on going down and there they are. These are exclusive to the set. The Rob Liefeld legend, Steven Segovia, the reckoning homage, the gorgeous Obscura by Monty Moore, and then the extreme black metal edition. All those images, I think that is, let's see, 12, uh, oh my gosh, I think 12 plus five, that's 17 cards in all for 180 bucks. Good deal. I can't wait to get my own set. So then here's the ultimate print set. It's all 16 prints associated with the campaign all together and in one set. And that just goes for 180 bucks with free U.S. shipping. And you get a free digital download of the storyline, Demonic Omens, and you get free U.S. shipping. All right, folks, next up, we have reward number 28. And this is a very special one. This is a bundled tier. We call it the Demonic Collector Set. Reward number 28. And that includes the following editions. The Premier Edition, the Homage Edition, the Alive Edition, the Hardcover Edition, the Naughty Edition, the Jeweled Edition, the Mega Foil Edition, the Hollow Foil Edition, the Heavy Metal Edition. But that's not all. It also includes one of the six color chase variants by Mike Crone. Uh, overall edition, 456 and six Omegas. You would get one, but there's even more. We're adding a Demonic Omens mystery envelope. And that's still not all. Wait, here we go. Are you ready? The Demonic Omens Fire and Night Fire David Nakayama set. All of this, a $500, $565 value for $350. I got to tell you. I almost had to do a double take for all that value for that amount of money. What am I thinking? How do we even make money on this stuff? I don't know, but we just love it and we want you to have it. Next up is reward number 29. It's the Hellified Collector Set. It includes everything that we just discussed, plus these exclusive additions to this tier, including the Metallic Jewel Set by Monty Moore, Jewels by Shannon G, the Naughty Primitive Edition by Don McTague, the Naughty Dusk Edition by the one and only Mike DiBalfo, the Naughty Alive Edition by Keith Garvey, and wait, there's more. You will receive one additional copy of the Chase Edition. This is a $900 value, which we are offering for $525 US and free shipping and free digital download. Whoa, get in on it. The Ultimate Omens Legend Set. This is reward number 30. You're going to get everything in reward number 29. Plus, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This legend set is limited to three exclusive editions. First up is the Metal Legend Edition, limited to 90. These will be serial numbered match. Then the Holofoil Bloody Legend Edition. And rounding out the legend tier is the Megafoil Legend Edition with that bloody background. But that's not all. More, additionally, we have the Ultimate Edition set. It is three exclusives by Steven Segovia and Elmer Santos, including the Ultimate Edition, the Ultimate Luxury Foil Edition, and the Ultimate Virgin Art Edition. All together, this is a $1,600 value we are offering for $950. I'll tell you what, treat yourself. You deserve it. The campaign continues because next up is 
the Mega Demonic VIP set. This is reward number 31. This is for discerning collectors. We've been asked to do tiers with smaller numbers, and here we go, everybody. This exclusive Mega VIP editions are limited to 15 serial numbered copies each. The numbers will match, and they include the following. Everything from the Ultimate Legend Edition tier plus this beautiful handcrafted editions featuring individually hand-colored editions by Sean Forney and the Extreme Black Metal Edition limited to 15 by Rob Liefeld, the Ultimate Metal Edition limited to 15, and if you could believe it, the Sun K Glow in the Dark Edition. $2,400 value for $1,799. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready, here is the highest tier we're offering on this campaign. But before we do, I'd love to add, introduce to you this new concept we're doing in our campaign, which is we are going to be doing some of the add-ons consistent to the campaign separately. Let's say you choose your reward and you now are taken to a page that says add-ons. What I'd like to do is show you some of the exclusive add-on tiers that we're offering in this campaign. And if we could, I would like to go in order, starting with the Sworn Club Year 4 t-shirt. Here we go, everybody. So it's true, as an add-on, we have the Sworn Club Year 4 t-shirt featuring gorgeous brand new kind of ritualistic occult art by Mike Chrome, colored by Sanju Nivenju. The next add-on is the official Demonic Omens Mystery Envelope. This is limited to 1,225 envelopes this time around. And I'm not gonna go through each and every one, but I'm gonna take a moment. Please feast your eyes on the beauty that we're offering. No single edition is more than 50 copies featuring Bud Root, Billy Tucci, Sabine Rich, amazing art by Harrigan, Elias Jadzutis, Marissa Pope, others. Brand new casket editions are coming back. Character design editions showing Chaotica's new outfit. That again is 1,225 envelopes this time around. All in, that's it. Nothing to be added on. No infusions. That many envelopes, 60 bucks. Next up is the Lady Death Digital Bundle Upgrade. So if you were to choose a digital reward, you can get all of Lady Death's previous storylines together in one bundle. That's 19 chapters, the entire story, 920 pages plus for 87 bucks. And then if you're like me and you like your physical stuff, get your Lady Death Premier Edition Library. All previous 19 chapters together, 960 pages, and that'll be offered for $300. So those are some of the add-ons. Stay tuned to the campaign. It's very dynamic and alive. What I'd love to do is come back to that last edition that we were about to discuss, which is, I believe, here it is, the Ultra Mega Demonic. <laughs> VIP set. All right. That includes everything in the previous mentioned. Uh, let's see. What was the previous name of the uh, number 31? Okay. So it's everything in the mega demonic VIP set plus the following. First of all, it's limited to eight copies each, just six sets offered through the Kickstarter. And here are the exclusive editions. They are the ultra mega VIP Mateg metallic glow in the dark metal the mike chrome glow in the dark metal the rob liefeld ultra mega vip metallic edition with glow in the dark metal look i'm only responding to what people ask people want like super rare tears so that's exactly what we're doing folks that's an overview of the lady death demonic omens kickstarter campaign i want to thank you so much for checking it out and stay tuned for a plan your pledge uh, 3D preview of everything in about a week. But in the meantime, I want to thank you so much for choosing Coffin Comics, for continuing your support. We love it. I want to thank you so much for uh, 
listening in. You've been great. I've been Brian Polito. Back, Lady Death Demonic Omens, when we go live on February 7th at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Be there. All right, everybody. A little PS here. Don't go anywhere. I want to premiere for you the Lady Death official Demonic Omens video. Without further ado, roll them. Hello everybody, this is Brian Polito, creator of Lady Death, and we are back to unleash the most savage chapter of Lady Death's undead life. An all new 64 page original graphic novel entitled Lady Death Demonic Omens. <laughs> Lady Death returns to our Earth, only to discover two years have passed and unprecedented prosperity has spread across the globe. But soon, this peace is slashed to bloody pieces. A strange and savage cult emerges, bent on chaos and destruction. Like a virus, its numbers multiply and disperse, burning everything in their wake. Now, Lady Death must race against time and battle demonic forces to save a trusted friend from an unspeakable fate. Watching from the shadows, an old foe devises a nefarious plan to dominate the world and bring Lady Death to her knees. The company-wide crossover event starts here. Guest starring La Muerta, Hell Witch, Lady Satanis, and Chaotica. Help me bring this hellacious chapter to life is our returning team, co-writer Mike McLean, illustrator Diego Bernard, colorist Wes Hartman, veteran letterer Marshall Dillon. And look, here's the thing. This project is done. We just got a print. I need your help, because let's be honest, you're the one that makes this happen. Please pledge now and tell everyone you know. Thank you so much, everybody. You rule.